That is scary. Parents don't have a voice here in Newark, and that's why we're in this predicament we're in. Anxiety? Parents at Monday night's Newark Education Forum had a lot of it, mostly about lead in the school district's drinking water. But some felt frustrated trying to get information. You're not getting any answers, um, solid answers on what we're really doing to remediate the lead. I wanted them to talk more about the lead because lead testing is important and with the kids and half of the adults who drunk the water from the water fountain. I guess it's important to put information out there, um, but it's, it's not a dialogue, it's like a monologue. Gotcha. And I guess I wanted more dialogue and more interaction. TV news cameras got locked out. This video is from a live stream of the forum, which waited an hour to take audience questions. A lot of people are still afraid. Should they still drink water? Or uh, should they still drink their tap water? Or should it run for 10, 5 to 10 minutes or one minute to three minutes? Okay, let the mayor answer okay. that. Mayor Baraka explained the city's bringing in bottled water and offering kids free lead blood tests while the DEP tests drinking water sources inside the state-run schools. We asked parents. Have you had your child tested? Yeah, he's yes. Tested. You, is he all right? He's yeah. fine. Have you gotten any turnaround at all on the blood tests on the kids? Are you getting any trend one way or the other? Do you know yet? Well, I, I don't know uh, specifically yet. I know the health department is uh, is gathering that data, and uh, when we get some uh, kind of levels that we think uh, can, when we set some trends, we can talk about some trends. I think we'll be able to start. Are releasing some of that. The mayor supports a redesigned bottle bill that had put a dime deposit on recyclables and dedicate 75 percent of the proceeds towards repairing the state's water infrastructure. The bill's sponsor figures it could raise 15 million a year. We need to raise a billion to address the entire crisis. It's not going to be the only solution, but it's certainly a small step or even a bigger step uh, to creating a fund to address the situation right now at hand. State officials haven't yet released test results from Newark schools. The governor has stated the lead situation isn't a crisis, but that rubs Newark parents the wrong way. Lead cause brain damage, mm -hmm. and this governor is out campaigning all across the country for Donald Trump, and this is an outrage. And if it was his children, he would be here tonight. Newark will continue to offer free lead blood tests for school children every Saturday in April at four different schools around the city. In the newsroom, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.